We did it. We made it all the way through an entire series of strengthening together. Awesome. So excited. So proud. Um, you guys are great. Thanks for sticking it out with me. Thanks for your great questions. Thanks for, thanks for all the things. Um, so today you need an elastic, an exercise band. Um, and you don't need your thing on it. You need a mat, a table, a floor, whatever you got, something flat. And a big ball, maybe. So there's a couple things that we can do modified with that um, that we may or may not use it for today. Let's face it, depends on depends on how it goes. Um, I'm sorry that we started early today. Today has been like hurting cats at my house between drop-offs and cars and all of the things. So we're just gonna, we're gonna hustle through the morning, do our best. And you can always watch this later. Um, they're always available. They're available on the YouTube channel. They're available on this group page. They're available. And if you can't find it, send me a message and, you know. Um, as always, if it hurts, don't do it. Um, and if it doesn't feel like it's working the right thing or the right way, send me a message and we'll work it out. Um, so, um, first things first, wall clocks. table set up today so I can get you a little closer. All right, so beautiful posture, ears over shoulders, shoulders back and down. One hand is going to go right about shoulder height on the wall. You've got it tight, you've got it wrapped on one, you've got it wrapped on the other, okay? So we're going to start here, three o'clock. So imagine a big clock face. So this hand is at nine, this hand is gonna pull out to three. And then we're gonna pull up to between one and two. Or, meh, two, one, 12, one, two, three. It's a very big clock. All right, so what does that look like from the front? Again, my hands are pressed against the wall, out to three up to two, up to one, up to 12, back to one, back to two, back to three. So hopefully from the back here, you can see I'm maintaining that good space between my shoulders and my ears, my shoulders are back and down. And I'm feeling this all through the back through here, the back of my shoulder on the arm that's working, all right? so. This is working. I'm keeping that good posture. My tummy is tight. My feet are hips width apart. Let's see if I can't show you what my feet look like. Maybe not. If you hear a crash, it's just me pulling all of my things. Yeah, it's not gonna work. All of my things off the table. All right, trust me. My feet are hips width apart. Um, my knees are soft. My core is engaged. So my glutes are engaged. My abdominals are engaged. My shoulders are back and down. Out we go. All right, and off we go. Okay, you can work the second half of the clock. So you can go three, four, five, six. We'll work on my spatial relationships later. Um, or the other hand, same thing, so shoulder height. So this is coming out, that's 90 degrees, all right? So this arm is working, this arm is stabilizing and you can't see it. <laughs> this arm is stabilizing. This arm is working. So both of my shoulder blades are working for very different ways for that one. All right, so that is a, oh, geez, Mary. <laughs> I'm just, just gonna pull all the things off the wall. All right. Number two, bridging. I love bridging. Bridging is a glute exercise. It's an exercise for your butt, not a hamstring exercise. If you feel it in your hamstrings, I want you to reset your pelvis, pull your heels in close to your butt and get your hamstrings out of it and make it a butt exercise. Um, so how do we start a bridge? I want you to do a posterior pelvic tilt. What is a posterior pelvic tilt? Take your hands, arch your low back, squash your low back, all right? So your hands are in here, they're feeling the space. 
and then all of a sudden the space is gone and you're squashing your fingers, all right? So that, that squashing, when you're lifting your tailbone up a little bit, you're engaging your transverse abdominis, you're exhaling, you're lifting your pelvic floor, all of those things are happening. You're making them happen, and if you do it enough times, they will happen on their own. Repetition gets the job done. So when I do a pelvic tilt, I automatically feel my transverse abdominis engage. I automatically feel my pelvic floor lift. I have had to work for that because thousands of repetitions gets the job done. So everyone's always like, why do we do posterior pelvic tilts? You need to do them with intent. I want you to tilt. I want you to tighten and lift. All of those things are happening at the same time so that when you do those things in the real world, when you think, oh, I need to brace, I need to be stronger, all you have to do is put your body in that little bit of a posterior pelvic tilt and all of those teammates will jump right on board because you've done that thousands of times. You've gotten those repetitions so that all you have to do is put your body in the right position and everybody works collectively. They work together. All right, so posterior pelvic tilt, and you're just gonna bridge up. And that just means picking your bum up so you have a straight line between your shoulders and your knees. And then you're gonna go down, and you can release that pelvic tilt if you want. You can maintain it if you want. And up you go. Bridge up, control down. Now you can do a little bit of a roll up and a roll down if you think you need to work on a little bit of spinal segment control. So if you feel like you want a little bit more individualized movement and control in your back, then you can just do a tilt and slowly roll up your spine, up to those shoulders, and then slowly bring your spine down one segment at a time and really engage those abdominals to control that. All right, but a straight bridge is happy and easy to go. Push your butt up, squeeze your butt at the top. I want you to feel your butt get tired so that by the time you do three sets of 10 of this, your butt is on fire. It's really working, all right? So when you get to the top, I want you to imagine you're crushing a walnut <laughs> with your cheeks. Get that quarter squoze. Really pinch it, really fire those glute muscles. Um, this is probably gonna be more entertaining than it's worth, but bridging on a ball is an excellent Excellent way to work those. All right, so you bridge up. That is gonna get you a lot more hamstring. If it's too much hamstring, you can put your legs here. Bridge up here. My pants are falling down. All right. Or if you really wanna go nutso, get those hammies working, you can bridge up. Oh, I'm caught on my table. Roll in and roll out in your bridge. I'm definitely gonna pop that ball. All right. We're gonna roll right in. Oh jeez, I'm gonna pop it on the table. I'm gonna pop it on the fan. We're in for it this morning, guys. Um, reverse bird dog. And then we'll do a bird dog so you can see sort of why it's reversed and how it works. Um, so this is a abdominal exercise. I'm pretty sure we've covered this one about a hundred times. Um, opposite hand and leg. So this hand over here, See it is going to go up. This leg is going down. This knee is staying pressed into the ball. This hand is staying pressed into the ball. All right. So this knee back right here doo -doo -doo, presses up. This hand right here presses down. This arm right here goes up. This leg right here goes down. So we start in this position. We go away and then back. Away and then back. Every time we go away, we're exhaling. If you want to sing a song, sing a song. When you're singing, you're exhaling. All right. There we go. Keep your low back flat. If you feel your head sliding, um, you're losing that poor control. Don't go as far down. So let's, let's over exaggerate a little bit without hurting ourselves. So if I go here, watch, watch what my head does when I lose that control, all right? So I go here, see how much my body slides down? Whereas if I go here and come back up and my core is doing the work, my head's not moving at all. So if you hear yourself sliding on the floor, um, reduce your range. And that all that looks like is this, right? So you're going opposite direction. There you go. There you go. 
um, and reduce your range so that you can hold where you are in space. Whew. All right, last one, a little bird dog, a little bird dog action for us, okay? So this does not look perfect on this mat because it's a beautiful table and it's so squishy and I sink right down into it and it's really hard to get good form when you sink into your surface. Um, so this one should be done on the floor, but if I do it on the floor, you won't see it. So if you need to know how to do a bird dog, Google bird dog exercise, find one that looks like what I'm doing. You know, but without losing balance. Okay, so hips with apart from knees, same for the arms, and then you're just, oh, hey, look, you did good. Um, so the leg comes up and the arm comes up, and then you come back down. Um, the pelvis stays neutral, all right? So if you're tilting a lot to get your leg there, that's a different exercise. Um, and so your pelvis stays neutral and you come back out. All right. Um, a good way to make sure your pelvis is staying neutral is get something to balance in your pelvis. A piece of cool noodle. All right. So that might be too small and too windy, but We'll show the demonstration. All right, so see, I've got that pool noodle on my back. I'll switch sides. It's hard to come back. I keep hitting the table, but there it goes. If I wasn't able to keep my pelvis level, that pool noodle, if I rolled out, that pool noodle would stick to my shirt and not show you guys what I wanted to show you at all. Bigger pool noodle, bigger something. Roll the towel. Not a ball because that's going anywhere. Um, so anyway, <laughs> we're just in it to win it this morning, guys. This guy, followed by this guy, keeping your abs tight, working the glutes, working the shoulder blades, keeping that big space between between your ears and your shoulders, keeping your shoulders back and down, keeping that beautiful posture. If you guys took anything out of these videos, is that I want your posture to be strong, stable. Your core is your shoulder blades, your abdominals, your glutes, your pelvic floor. All of those things are part of your core musculature. They hold you upright in space. When we do the activities that we do in our society daily, we sit, we lean forward, we doom scroll. Um, we carry our children. All of those things are forward body activities. They are bringing things into us. They are curling us around them. We are sitting at our desk with our shoulders up and our necks extended. I mean, that desk posture, it's just, look at that. It's not, that can't, that can't be doing good things to your neck. Um, so all of the things I want you to do are focusing on opening yourself up. Get that chin in line. Get those ears lined up. Get your shoulders back and down. Open your hip flexors. Um, yeah, do all the good things for your body. Drink your water. Um, we're doing a new series. It starts in a couple weeks. Honestly, I think it's January, um, because the holidays are nuts and I love them and I love the nuts, but I also love 830 in the morning. So I'm going to take those back for myself for a hot minute and then I will give them back to you in January. And I appreciate every single person who showed up for these. They're amazing. Um, you guys are doing so good. I'm so proud. The questions are awesome. Keep up with the feedback. Um, keep doing them. You can revisit them whenever you want. They're in the group. They're on the YouTube channel. Um, do them. And if you have questions, gosh, if it's three years from now and you think, oh, I don't know how I'm doing that exercise. Maybe I should reach out. Reach out. Oh my gosh. The best form you can get is the best form for your body and getting stronger just serves your body so well and you don't have to do crazy amounts of things to get stronger than you are today um be consistent be aware um that's all i got i hope you guys have a great weekend um uh, we're coming up on thanksgiving so if you celebrate thanksgiving with your family i hope you have a wonderful time and if not i hope you have a great day off um if you have to work i hope everybody that you come across at work is just um, in their best possible space, having their best possible day, and that you all enjoy some relaxing time. Um, you earned it, you're worth it, and thanks, thanks guys. I'm thankful for you. <laughs> I'm thankful for you guys. All right.